Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through the field settings in File Secure Contact Form. Here is where you can really customize uh, the field, the layout, uh, what they do and so on. You can see that at first glance uh, there's only really a few settings that you can change here, uh, such as the email setting, you can change it from text to email, which is probably a good idea so that that field is uh, correctly supported in the browser. Uh, what you can do though is actually click on show details on any of these forms and you get a ton of customization options here such as changing the name field format so you can see here it's just a name you can change it to first name and last name if you prefer that or even include a middle initial or middle name but for most people just using that uh, that name field as the name is just fine uh, it certainly could result in people choosing not to actually fill out your contact form and get in touch with you if uh, you're asking too much of them. You can choose to enable autofill on the form. It's already turned on by default. Uh, some people like to turn that off uh, because you know in a lot of cases uh, people use their browser or browser extensions to autofill forms. Uh, it could potentially be abused but probably not really so we'd probably say leave that one on. You can also see if you would like to make the field required, which many of them are by default, if you'd like to disable it. Hide the label, do you want it to be in line? maximum length that you'd like, custom CSS, and any HTML that you would like before or after the form field. So there is a great range of options there if you'd like to customize your layout. I mean, for most people, just the default's going to be fine. Uh, but you know, those options are there if you do need them. Uh, so when you're done doing anything in there, you just hit save changes, of course. Uh, you can also use this area to delete fields. Uh, I've added this field, new field in just earlier. Uh, and if I'd like to delete that, I can just go down to the bottom, hit delete, uh, click OK, and that, that's gone now. But uh, until I actually click Save Changes, those changes won't uh, won't be updated uh, on the website. Here you can also change where the forms lie. So if you note, we just hover your mouse over that top area there, it turns into the four directional arrow icon, and then you can just drag uh, drag what you want into the place you'd like. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll just hit save changes now. Then what we get down to are the general field settings. These are pretty straightforward. Uh, what you can do here is customize the date field based on you know whatever date format you use, uh, wherever you live. You can change the calendar start of the week, zero is the default of course, and the default time format. If you allow people using the form to actually have attachments there, these are the list of current files that are permitted to be uh, actually attached and sent across to you. If you'd like, you know, you might choose to add zip to that list, for instance. You know, it's a pretty popular file format, but of course you'll but of course you'll most likely have a better idea of what you need than I will. Uh, you can also change the maximum allowed attachment size. Maybe you want five meg or ten, whatever you want, you can just punch that in there. And the penultimate setting here is to enable users to send HTML code in the text area field types. I think that can be pretty handy. Uh, if you have a technical sort of focused website, uh, maybe there's something wrong or someone has a question, it can be handy for them to be able to, uh, you know, have a little HTML on that uh, email message. And finally, we can choose to preserve the message field spaces. That just means that when an email is sent to you through the contact form, if you turn it on, of course, uh, it will appear in your email pretty much exactly as the particular person has submitted it. I think that's a really cool feature to turn on. So we're done making changes here, uh, we'll just click save changes now. And that brings us to the end of this video, very straightforward, uh, we've just gone through the field settings showing you how to you know, easily customize the fields, how you can really drill down into some detail there, and just covering the general field settings as well, which mostly pertain to the actual behavior of that contact form. If you have any questions about what we've done here today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.